fitness model, 51, says she's too beautiful to have friends, and being attractive is a curse. A fitness model claims her good looks have cost her friends, and given her unwanted attention, that led to depression. Jane Kerno, 51, from Sydney, Australia, hit the dating scene after her marriage ended, and says women quickly became jealous and resentful towards her. After my second marriage ended, I entered the single scene and quickly realized just how much attention men were giving me, she told news.com.au. I'd get constant looks and comments, and felt like men were undressing me with their eyes. Women were, and still are, jealous and resentful towards me, but, at the time, I didn't put it down to my looks and their own insecurities. While jealousy towards Jane became the norm, she never expected it to extend to her friends. Are you approaching fitness in an unhealthy way? Are you a group exercise addict fueling your obsession to be skinny? Are your gym sessions punishment for what you ate? Are you starving yourself to look like a catwalk model? Do you only care about no of calories over nutritional value? Would you give anything to be a fitness model and look like this? Dot this girl believed that achieving this was her ticket to happiness. She had come from 25 years of all of the above and threw herself into bodybuilding fueled by vanity and low self-worth. I honestly believed that achieving this Jane was the answer to my lifelong misery. But the thing is if you don't love yourself, before looking like this will not change how you feel about yourself or your life. Trust me. I attached my self-worth to my body as too many of us women do. Yes I am privileged, but don't let the socially glorified exterior fool you. I was miserable and cried the day of the shoot. Isn't looking like this supposed to mean all your dreams come true? Dot we are so much more than, than what we look like. Yeah, I thought that was a load of two. Why do we women obsess over our weight and appearance? Isn't kindness and compassion what makes us beautiful? The cool thing about my journey is I now love myself and my life and I got to keep the body. Let me show you how, du9. at woman shield mag at woman shield thos at oxygen magow at women's fitness mag at gorga mag at fitness first mag a post shared by Jane Kerno at Jane Kerno on October 14, 2017 at 6.04 p.m. PDT I've lost many friends and always thought it was my fault, she said. I didn't attribute it to my looks until my 30s, when so-called friends walked out on me in bars, because of the male attention I received. At the age of 32, and after years of suffering, Jane was diagnosed with depression. By the age of 40, still single and childless, she believed her life was over. It wasn't until she recovered, that she realized how much her appearance had impacted on this mindset. 10 Things I Do to Cope with Stress and Negativity Dot 1 Autocout My training is so much more than physical. It's my therapy. Superscript AU to a get out into nature. Sunshine, sunrise, birds, water, trees. 4 3 a deep breaths. Or just become conscious of my breathing. 4 a play, cuddle, spend time with my fur babies. 5 asleep.4 and I fall asleep with subliminal affirmations. 6 on OTV. No news. No radio. No media. 7 AC my energetic healer. 8 to get my nails done. U9 to take a bath or listen to one of my inspirational motivational gurus. Dot it's been a challenging week on numerous levels. For the first time, since I have declared myself fully recovered I have felt overwhelmed. But now I have a toolbox of tricks that I can pull out to ride me through tough times. Everything in life is only temporary. We need to learn to dance in the storm until the sun rises again. And I will rise again too. I didn't come this far to only come this far. Setbacks only mean the comeback is on its way stronger than ever. Superscript AU Circumflex Superscript AU Circumflex Superscript AU dot dot A post shared by Jane Kerno at Jane Kerno on November 2nd, 2017 at 2.22 a.m. PDT on reflection, I realized the power of my appearance, but the resulting feelings were not of pride or happiness, but of incredible pressure, she said. I asked myself, if I'm as good looking as everyone says, then why am I so unhappy?
Why aren't I living the dream? With friends, family, and professionals telling her she was beautiful, Jane became obsessed with maintaining her figure and looks to achieve happiness. She quickly learned that was not the answer. If you don't love yourself without the body and looks, this doesn't change when you do. In fact, it only highlights how much you hate the person inside, she said. You end up attaching your self-worth to the outside which is the wrong way around. Working as a fitness model and lifestyle coach, Jane is now empowering other women to find and embrace their inner and outer beauty in the way that she